culture is not your friend. Terence McKenna, the great psychonaut. Culture is not your friend. Culture is not your friend. So here's the thing. Let's take me as an example. At some point I was a baby. At some point I was a child. And I grew up and I was this wonderful child. Like anybody, everybody else. Didn't have a religion. Didn't have a culture. I was given a name. You know, when I came popping out, I didn't have a name. So I was given a name, Saeed. You know, and started, was, as I grew up, was given a religion and given a language and given a culture, right? A set of belief systems that I had to follow. And then I come to Canada and suddenly that culture is completely different. That belief system is completely different. And I have this identity crisis. Who the fuck am I? I always thought I was my culture. But then I see here people are doing things differently. And I'm like, who am I? Who's Saeed? You know, is Saeed uh, Muslim? Is Saeed Arabic? You know, is Saeed Syrian? You know, is Saeed Saeed? You know, is, you know, what should I do? What should I follow? What belief system? You know, what, sh what belief system should I follow? Is there a heaven? Is there a hell like I was taught? All right, people here have different culture. Let's start to follow that culture and adapt to it because I want to fit in. So I start to adopt, you know, the Western mindset. Let's go and make money, man. You know, let's pimp it out, hoes, bitches, and make money and have shiny cars and have a nice house. And I started to adopt the Western culture and I started to associate with it, right? I remember in first year university, I had these posters of all these crazy cars that I wanted to get and this crazy mansion, which I would still like to, to be honest, somewhere in nature though. Uh, and like, I was just like very materialistic very uh, just driven by material and money <sighs> and then I had my first mushroom trip and then I had the second one and the third one and the fourth one and on and on they went and all the masks kept disappearing and shattering and shattering to the point where on one of my trips on one of my five grammars one of my, my, one of my heroic doses I kid you guys not, I swear to God, I kid you guys not, I had to think for a few seconds what my name was because I had a completely ego blastering, my ego completely died in, in, in that trip for a momentary time and I merged and I became one with everything. I swear to God, I was looking at my body like this, I was trying to figure out, just like a baby looking at their hands, trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. I was trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. And I swear to God, for a mere few seconds, I had to remember what my name was. And when I, when I'm like, I'm, when I remembered my name, I'm like, I'm Saeed. And I started fucking cracking the fuck up. Because <laughs> I realized that's not really me. And all the masks really just completely shattered. And all the cultural masks. And I came to this realization that none of this makes any sense. Not this Western culture and not this Eastern culture. N they're all a set of belief system passed down to you by someone else. Most of the belief systems that are passed down by us are dysfunctional to their core. Here in the West, it's very materialistic. In the East, it's quite, you know, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to generalize, but in most, you know, Eastern cultures and blah, 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 not, Modern, modern. We're talking modern. When when Terence McKenna said culture is not your friend, he was talking about modern culture, because not all cultures are bad. Like native culture is fucking amazing. Nature, native native culture is all about cultivating a connection between the human uh, and between nature. Hello, how you doing? Good, good. Enjoying your run? Perfect. Uh, beautiful. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You as well. So. The native culture, for example, is a beautiful culture. And Terence McKenna was a big proponent of shamanism and going back to archaic values. So when he said culture is not your friend, he meant modern. And this is what I'm talking about in this video, right? Uh, modern culture, modern cultures, Eastern and Western, they're all dysfunctional, man. There, there's a reason why people are not happy in the world because they, we're being indoctrinated into these dysfunctional behaviors of these cultures that are passed down to us by, again, 
just passed down to us by some motherfuckers who probably didn't have all that much fun in their life. And now we're following them and now we're identifying with them. So forget culture, forget all this shit. Trust yourself, trust your own experience. Go out into the woods, talk to trees, you know, enjoy beautiful sun, spend time in silence, get to know yourself. And you will know who you really are. You know, you feeling is understanding. You experience it for yourself. So just watch out because culture is self-limiting, man. It's so self-limiting. It gives you this f completely false identity. And not only does it give you this completely false identity, and I'm talking again, modern culture. It doesn't only give you this false modern identity. It represses your human expression, making you miserable, depressed, sad, lonely. Loneliness is becoming the, like 40% of people in America report feelings of lonely. And the numbers are probably much higher. So that's it. Culture is not your friend. Check out my free book, Five Powerful Habits to Dominate Life in All Areas. I love you guys, love every single one of you. I am your friend, hopefully. As always, don't forget to subscribe or you're gonna sleep with the fishes.